Hi, and good morning on this wonderful Monday morning. I'm Pete Najarian. This is The Take for Market Rebellion. Now, looking back to last week, we had another powerful week. And I'll tell you what, I just got to hit this right out of the gate. We traded 31 and a half million contracts on Friday. This is summertime. It just shows you so much about what's going on in the marketplace right now, the growth in the options market that has continued for multiple years, but building upon, obviously, a lot of the stay at home and a lot of the movement that we have seen because of that and because people aren't traveling as much because they're probably, in many cases, at the destinations that they'd want to be. So you're seeing a lot more activity, and that activity is absolutely powerful. As a matter of fact, let me just hit this before we even talk about last week's performance. On Friday, Apple traded 2.8 million contracts. Tesla, 1.1 million contracts. <laughs> NVIDIA, 550,000 contracts. All these were just incredible. And all of those, about 65% of the paper was trading on the call side versus the put. So really, really just an unbelievable and so different from what we have been used to oftentimes in the summer. But it does make a lot of sense. Now, starting off the day, we had the Dow that was actually pretty flat, started to move to the upside fairly early. We were up 70, 100 points. By the end of the day, finishing up 190 points. NASDAQ, on the other hand, was up about 30 or 40 points. Didn't quite have the same kind of performance. As a matter of fact, finished up about 46 points, so a little bit higher on the day. But when you look at some of the drivers, well, some NASDAQ names, specifically Apple, stood out as one of the drivers for the Dow on Friday. Big move to the upside. And Walmart, Nike, they were participating as well. Some of the laggards, energy space, when you look over at Exxon and Chevron pulling on the markets. Home, De Home Depot, which just had had earnings not too long ago, just this past week. That was pulling on the markets a little bit. Raytheon, some of those names. But on the NASDAQ power into the upside, you had Win Resorts. We had a, a lot of those names that if things are going to get a little bit better, it seems like those names are ready to start to move to the upside. In anticipation of that, we had Win higher, we had Marriott higher, Apple once again, along with Tesla, definitely participating. Nvidia, certainly one of those names. eBay as well. But it also stands out for me was Deer, and we we talk about that the earnings season. We've basically gone through the majority of the earnings season. Still big names out there, and we had Deer, and Deer was up six percent. As a matter of fact, it hit new all-time highs. By the way, it's building on those highs once again today. So we had some good debates last week on, on the halftime report. So I'm going to just hit something real quick. So we talked about a lot of these highs and people were saying, well, it's not a very broad-based uh, rally. I continue to say that it is. I gave all kinds of ideas in terms of, well, you look at the biotechs, you look at the housing stocks, you look at the semiconductors, all of those all hitting highs. And yet, well, they all wanted to dismiss that. So let's just get through a couple of more names, shall we? How about this? Uh, Lululemon, NVIDIA, Chipotle, Tesla, Knight Swift, Old Dominion, Lennar, DR Horton, Pulte, Best Buy, JD, uh, the list kind of goes on and on. Colgate, Accenture, BJ's, Costco, Domino's, Square, Thermo Fisher, Zoom, Williams Sonoma, Wayfair, and some of the other names that are pushing either near or, or pushing right near their highs. Uh, Lowe's, AMD, Texas Instruments, Quarvo, Broadcom, Skyworks. The list gets longer. That's just a couple of the names, just to just to put that out there. So when I say broad participation, there's a lot of different fields that we're talking about there. How about the truckers? How about there's just so many different areas that have been participating along. Now, not as big a market cap, so the influence is not as big, but nonetheless, they are moving and in many cases either near or at or setting either 52 week highs or in many cases all time highs. So Let's, let's just put that out there right out of the gate. So technology was obviously strong. Consumer discretion, obviously strong. And we had some pretty good strength out of the industrials last week on Friday as well. So all that building into a day that actually finished up 190 points when we look over at the, at the Dow. Now, overnight, we had futures higher. They were up decent. They were up 80 points, call it. NASDAQ up about 50 points. So pretty nice moves. By the time we got around to the start of the trading day, and, and getting into it and just basically holding on to those gains. Market's up about 250 points on the Dow. NASDAQ up about 130 points, but that has pulled back. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at the NASDAQ right now. Early on, 130 points, now completely flat. A lot of that, take a look at that early move out of Tesla, the early move out of Apple, and then you can start to see a big reason why NASDAQ definitely on a, we talk about dislocations all the time, completely dislocated from what we're seeing in the Dow itself. So, 
What's powering the Dow? What's really making the Dow actually explode to the upside? Well, I mentioned some of those names, but take a look at Boeing, Dow, Raytheon, Caterpillar, Exxon, Chevron, all those kind of names. A couple other names you could sprinkle in there. Uh, but, but those names definitely feeding this powerful move that we are seeing in the markets right now. Dow, like I say, up about 240 points. So you look over the technology space, it hit another new high before this pullback that we're seeing right now. But the industrials, eh, it's up a little, little uh, somewhere near 1%. Energy, on the other hand, up 2.5% today, the XLE. And then look at the OIH. We talk about those service names, the beta names, up about 4.5%. Financials, trying to get a little bit of something going. They're moving a little bit, but we've seen these fits and starts many times before. Like I say, semiconductors participating pretty well along with industrials. So... We look at all of that, put all of that together, and the volatility index is very, very close to flat. It's up a little bit, but it's trading right between 22.5 and, and 23, which really does stand out as something pretty interesting. What's really been powering the NASDAQ when it was really moving to the upside? We had airlines, we had hotels, we had casinos. And you look at those names, you had Wynn, Las Vegas Sands, MGM, airlines, AAL, you had UAL, United, you had Marriott and Hilton in terms of the hotel. So... A lot of participation. And by the way, I'm a little bit later today than usual, so I'm going to point this out too. Unusual option activity. We had airlines. We had United, Delta, Southwest, and American all hitting with unusual option activity today. So the, the smart idea would be to give you one of those names. So I'm, I'm actually not going to go there because another name that really, really stood out and another name that is not far off of its 52-week highs is L Brands. So... When I look at that name and I see 35,000 of the September 4th expiring, the 33 calls. Now, basically what they're saying is this is a stock that potentially could go to new highs. Now, the stock did pull back along with some of what we were seeing going on in the NASDAQ. It did pull back a little bit. It was trading about 30 and a quarter at the time of the buy. And like I say, 35,000 of these. Market, uh, let's see, they were trading for about 35 cents up to about 50 cents. So they're probably on the lower end now because when I took a brief look just a minute or two ago, I saw that that name had pulled back back under 30. So this could be a, a little bit less expensive of an option as well. Not that it's all that expensive at 20, at 35 cents, but it might even be a little bit less expensive now. But 35,000, that's a pretty good chunk. And the idea that the stock is moving very close to its highs and essentially this buyer essentially saying, we think it's going up and through those highs. So that's something to watch. And I think that unusual option activity is really a, an interesting one. But that doesn't take away anything from the airlines. United, big paper. Delta, uh, Southwest, huge paper and LUV and, and Delta as well. All of them hitting already today early on in the session. So a lot of unusual option activity are already on the blog. We've been seeing it coming in. The flows are there. Knowledge is king. You got to have that knowledge. You want to get those the best in the business helping you out. And we've got them at Market Rebellion. So keep an eye on that. Happy birthday again to my wife. Love her to death. This is her favorite day of the year. It's the only holiday in August, she tells me every year. So, of course, it's a celebration for her today as well. Folks, have a great day of trading.